our God is God of all possibilities. There is no challenge in your life that he cannot handle. He who opens doors and no one can shut them. When our God says yes, no one can say no. When he blesses you, no one can take it away from you. He is the God of all possibilities. He makes things happen. He is our God. When he elevates you, no one can bring you down. His name is Jesus Christ. He can do all things. He can turn any situation around. As a Christian, what are your challenges? Take your challenges to God. All you need to do is to believe in Him. Believe He can turn that situation around for you. Leave that battle for God to handle. Leave that situation for God to take care of. And you will see the wonder-working miracle of our God, Jesus Christ. Permit me at this point to invite our pastor. You may all sit. Our God can do all things. If you are with him, you need not fear anything. Although at times there may be storms of life in our lives. But one thing is always sure, God never abandons those who have their faith and eyes fixed on him. Are you passing through some challenges or difficulties in life? Well, you are not alone in that situation. Our God is there by your side. Many have passed through such challenges, perhaps even the worst types of it. And some still are passing through different forms of challenges, even now as I speak to you. But what matters most is your attitude towards the challenges. I like a book that I once read. It was titled Attitude is Everything. And I agree with the author in many ways. You see, your attitudes to a large extent, will determine the outcome of a situation or challenge. If you see the challenge as something that will finish you, or something that you are not going to come out of, such thoughts or conclusions are always the case. Let me tell you how it works. When you firmly believe in something with all your heart, all of your faculties will concur or conform, and it won't be long before your expectations as evidenced in your attitudes becomes the reality. That is why the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And in the book of Proverbs 23 7, says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Both verses are saying the same thing. That we are the products of our thought, as are always manifested in our attitudes, for our environment to key into it. But the good news is that, if you are a child of God that believes in the all-sufficiency of God, and his omnipotence, these challenges, need not define your faith and attitude. But instead, the word of God and his promises, should be the determinant of your belief and thought. And should reflect in your attitudes. And your environment will bring to you as you exude or give out to it. Which are the blessings of God. For instance, the Bible says in the book of Job chapter 22 verse 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. What the Bible is saying here is that, the situation on the ground, shouldn't determine our beliefs and attitudes. Instead, we should trust in what God's word says concerning us. Until we have made it our habitat, to think in the line of God's word, rather than apparent suggestions of situation or circumstances. We are to live our life by faith in the word of God, instead of on the things that the eyes can see. When you see troubles or challenges, Always remember that God is on your side, and these challenges are not meant to consume you. You will come out of it victorious. Challenges are part of our existence, as long as we are still in this life. God allows it for a purpose, according to his wisdom. And who can question or challenge the wisdom of God? Challenges sometimes are necessary, to prove our patience and determination to serve God. The saints of old, passed through challenges and trying times, but in the end, our God showed himself strong and indefatigable, and delivered them with honors. Time will fail me to mention all the trials and challenges, 
encountered by the saints of old. Like Abraham, David, Isaac, Moses, Joseph, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, Elijah, Jeremiah and even the New Dispensation, our Lord Jesus Christ, his disciples, and a host of others. All of them had their fair shares of experiences of challenges and trying times. Does it mean that God wasn't with them, or that he is incapable of delivering them, by not allowing them to go through those experiences? Of course, is not. Jesus even told Peter, when he used his sword against Marcus, in his bid to fight and defend his master, Jesus Christ when they came to arrest him. Matthew chapter 26 verse 53. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? This means we should keep faith in God and in his word, and maintain the right attitudes, and allow him who can do all things to sort us out, in the face of seemingly challenges. For we know that God is able and capable of all things, including delivering us, or even not allowing us to go through challenges. But if he allows us, then let's wait for him in good faith and attitude. But what does the Bible say about Christian challenges? In the book of James chapter 1 from verses 2 to 4, the Bible says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. That was God's word, concerning challenges and what our attitude should be towards challenges. It says that our trials as believers, are meant to work patience, and to make us perfect not wanting in anything. And challenges evidently also is to justify God's acceptance of us, and his choice of us. Otherwise, the devil will accuse God of being unjust. But if during trials, we stand with God and don't deny him, devil is shut up as we would have proven, that we are loyal to God, and that we love God as our maker, and for who he is, and for what he has done. Satan told God that if Job is allowed to pass through temptations and trials, that Job would deny God, and even abused him. But see how mistaken the devil is. Because he thought that every human loyalty to God, is born out of materialism. So that he would have shown to God, that there weren't any difference between us and him. Job chapter 2 verses 4 to 5. And Satan answered the Lord, and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. The devil said, that men only obey God, as long as he blesses them with all they needed. And could deny or even abuse him if he stopped supplying them. Thus making our loyalty to God, look like it is based solely on what we can get from God, than who and what God is. But thank God that Job proved him, the devil, wrong. Abraham also showed similar resilience. When despite the seemingly odds, against the likely fulfillment of God's promises to him. He kept faith in God, not wavering till God brings to fulfillment, what he promised him, and he is still today known as the father of the faithfuls. So there is really nothing extraordinary, as long as the Christian faith is concerned about changes or being challenged. But because our God is the God of all possibilities. He has no rivals in authority, power, and ability. He cannot be defeated, nor allow us to be defeated, or to suffer shame. His plans cannot be thwarted nor scuttled. No. It cannot, except is not God. But if it is our God, that plans it or says it, then it must surely happen as he has planned. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27, God says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? And the answer is obviously nothing. There is no promise of the scripture, that is too good to be true, or any prophecy too difficult for God to fulfill to you. If we can have the faith to receive it, like Abraham, Joseph, David, etc. did. So I encourage you child of God. Not even the devil is strong enough, to abort or hinder your blessings. Only you can. When you became faithless, and doubtful of God's ability or sincerity. 
The Bible says of such a person who doubts God, let him not think he would receive anything from God. James chapter 1 verses 6 to 8. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But that shall not be you. Here we see that the only thing, capable of stopping one, from accessing divine packages or God's promises, is not even the devil, but our own inability to receive and believe in God, to bring it to pass. Jesus says in Mark 9 verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. All things, no exception, but only if you can believe. The belief here is not just a mere temporary conviction or vacillating belief. No, you have got to believe God with unwavering faith, and undaunted conviction about God's promises. And God never disappoints. For faithful is he that promised. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. I pray for you, that God shows himself strong and mighty, in every area of your life. For you need his intervention. As he intervened for Daniel, Joseph, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego like he intervened for Elijah. The children of Israel whenever they were faced with the enemies, no matter how the situation may be, or the time it has taken, there is no staled situation with God. There is no lateness with God. There is no distance in the presence of God. A day of favor with God, can pay for a whole lifetime of labor. Only believe and you are going to see the glory of God. Only faith in God of all possibilities, can change every situation for good, and you will rejoice again. God can turn sorrow into joy. Failure to success. Lack to abundance. Zero to hero. Nobody to somebody. He can lift a person from dungeon to palace. He can turn a prisoner into a prime minister, all within the shortest period of time. I prophesy to you, that you are the next in line to be favored by God. In Jesus' name. Now let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Thank you for the life of my viewers. Whatever that makes them cry. Whatever that keeps the restive and restlessness, whatever that makes the cry in the privacies. Whatever that gives them sleepless nights. The God of all possibilities, I pray for your instant intervention. Come to their rescue dear Father Lord. For you, O oh Lord delight in mercy, and have no joy or pleasure in human suffering. For troubled and sufferings, are occasioned and orchestrated by the devil. And your word says in John 10 verse 10, that it is for the purpose their Lord, that you came, to destroy the works of the devil and that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Therefore dear Lord, show mercy, and intervene for anyone undergoing any of the aforementioned challenges or situations. In the name of Jesus, let their sorrows be turned to joy. Let that age-long protracted ailment be healed now. Let that siege of martial delay, financial embarrassment, childlessness, failure after failure come to an end now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you immensely for joining us today. We pray and share the word of God on this channel every week, and you are invited to be one of us. As Christians, we constantly need the mercy of God as we are all sinners. But the good news is that our God is a merciful God. He hears when you call upon Him. He will have mercy on you when you genuinely run to Him for mercy. Here is another video titled, O oh Lord, Show Me Mercy Prayers. Carefully handpicked for you to watch this. We encourage you to watch the video and pray along with our pastor as he prayed for you in the video. Click on the video to watch now, for we believe it will enrich you in this. Also, if you are new here, consider subscribing and leave a comment in the comment box telling us you have subscribed. 
we will definitely respond to you immediately. God bless you.